All right, we are live. Barstool Units episode 22, maybe? 22, yes. All right, good deal. Episode 22. I'm Coach Dugs. With me, as always, the Honorable Frank the Tank Fleming. Frank, how you doing? Uh, I'm feeling a little sore from sunburn. <clears throat> oh, yeah? I, I, I used SPF 50, and it didn't fucking work. I guess just swimming in a pool outside in Miami doesn't help. Or Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Yeah, SPF fifty like every couple hours, maybe or every yeah. If you're out, if you're out in the sun, you're gonna get it. I mean, sunburn on the head hurts. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured that out soon. Soon after, I decided just to go ahead and shave off what I had left. Also got some sunburn on my uh, like on the back of my shoulders. Yeah. Well, you're out there because you're you're not just swimming. You're uh you're you're walking through the pool, right, Muhammad Ali style. Yeah. And that's a now you you prefer walking in the pool over swimming? I'm not a great swimmer. Oh yeah? No, nah, I'm not uh, a great swimmer. Can you uh what's the what's the term? Can can you float? Can I you wade? Can, can you wade in the water? I could wade in the water. It's just my legs don't really work that great in the pool. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I'm sure well, hey, Stephen Che can't can't wade in the water, so I'm, you know. You're not you're not alone there. Uh, well, the Mets are in the midst of the June swoon. Already, already. Yeah. You, you, you say hey, you said it. You said it's what well, I, I don't. I don't know if I want to use the the exact words you said, but it is June. It's June. <laughs> the yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the Mets went uh, five and twenty three in twenty eighteen in June. Uh, eight and twenty one in twenty nineteen in June, and they look like they're heading to that that that. That path again, and these are not these are not Frank the Tank statistics. These are actual real numbers. Yeah, they're pretty much like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. uh, I, I, the last time the Mets had a winning June, I think, was like uh, twenty nine, uh, two thousand nine. Really? Actually, even I think that was bad. I think it was two thousand eight. I think I don't. I think they, I think I, and I think I think they only had like one winning June in the, the last eleven years, and it was like thirteen and twelve record. Now, now I'm curious. Wh why do you think that is? I don't know. It'd be June. It, it, the, the, the Mets can't win in June. Well, I mean, there's got to be something there. Is uh, it the New York water? Is it is it the weather? I is don't it, know. It start, it's starting to get summertime, so they're not really paying attention. <laughs> the Orioles won. They hit the ball every ball hard, and the Orioles are actually tr like 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 uh, strutting off the mound. And they had they had they had the brooms ready for tomorrow. Is it going to be a sweep? Yep. And, and, uh, who's, start, and, who's, start, who's starting tomorrow? Matt Harvey for the Orioles and Ty Taiwan Walker for the Mets. But they're gonna bring back David Peterson. David Peterson. David Peterson has been staked to uh, to lead every time and gives it up the right in the first inning. And then, and then he's sitting in the dugout like this, like this, smiling in the dugout. Yeah. Does he need to? Does he need to make a trip to Syracuse? No, Lee Rojas said that. Lee Rojas said that. I am proud of the way David Peterson pitched today. He gave them the, the ball to hit, and it, you got to praise them for hitting it. He's just a, you know, he's just a swell guy. You know, that's it. David Peterson, David Peterson is a lifetime record. Right? It has it is getting a tattoo on his face tomorrow. I heart losing. It's not that bad, is it? Yes, he is. He's horrible. How do how do you get up to the majors? Because the Mets have nobody else. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I did hear. Uh, I heard the Yankees are just thinking about basically giving up the season. Yeah, they're, they're, they're thinking about being sellers. Now, this I I am I I am a fan of baseball in the sense that I watch I watch baseball games, but I'm not too familiar with like the the office politics or anything like that or, or how that goes down. So when you say become sellers. You're basically saying, "Hey, we're just going to sell off." Is it kind of like how NFL teams trade off their players in order yes. to take the season? Yes. Gotcha. And what usually happens? The trade deadline is July 31st, and now it's a hard deadline. It used to be a soft deadline, mm -hmm. but now it's a hard deadline, and you have to determine if you're going to go for the playoffs or uh, sell off. And the Yankees are leaning on selling because they're they had they they're well beyond the cap threshold. And mainly it's because of Giancarlo Stanton, mm -hmm. 
who who that trade has become an absolute just just disaster for the Yankees. He's been an absolute albatross. Now, how, now how, and how what, uh, how did that trade go through? What was what was the trade? The Mets just gave the uh, the Yankees just gave a bunch of like uh, mid level prospects to the Marlins. And uh, the, the Marlins wanted to get rid of his contract, and he's got like a, a ginormous contract that he just doesn't live up to. Yeah, is he is he there, Lindor? He's even worse. <laughs> oh, really? I feel like I feel like that's some backdoor positivity from Frank the Tank. Uh, I mean, John Carlos Stanton has can't stay healthy. And uh, and he just goes into these just like like these terrible slumps. He doesn't hit in the clutch. He strikes out way too much. He can't play any position in the field. He has to be a DH. And the Yankees oh, has about he, three. Or he's just a, he's just batting. Yeah. Yeah. If you're just batting, you, you got to hit the ball. I I, I mean, uh, I, the, you put him in the field, he's probably going to pull something. So how how is the uh, how is the feelings in the office about the Yankees? Is, is Tommy walking around all mopey, or is he? Well, is I didn't get any like, chance to get into the office today because I was flying oh, yeah. flying in, flying back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how that how that flight go? It was all right, but I ended up at uh, I landed at uh, LaGuardia Airport, which is just the worst airport in America. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not a fan. I actually I actually didn't mind LaGuardia too much compared to JFK. But I mean, when people talk about JFK and LaGuardia, I honestly think, I mean, I'm not going to the, I'm not going to uh, the, the, uh, I'm not going to the airliners for like, you know, to, and thinking I'm like, it's a five-star experience or anything, but Newark airport for what it is, for what I want, like, I just want to get on the plane and go. Newark airport's fantastic. Newark airport is terrific. There's Newark airport, Blows those other airports away. Here it is. Here's Stanton's uh, stats for the uh, Yankees. He uh, he had a good year his first year at the Yankees, 2018. He did have 38 homers. He played in 158 games. This year, he's he's uh, he's been relatively healthy. He's played in 41 games, which is the exact amount of games he's played in the last two seasons combined. I mean that that's that doesn't sound great. And uh, he basically can't play in the field. He's he pretty much is is just a DH. You're saying he played 42 games combined uh, in 2020. Uh, well, last year was the the, uh, was the short season. Yeah, but he uh, he played 18 games in 2019 and 23 games last season, which still is only a third of the games that basically for the season. So I mean, what's his upside? What did the what did the Yankees see in him? What were the what was the plan there? That he was the National League MVP in twenty seventeen with fifty nine homers and one hundred thirty two RBI, which is the only season he's he's he. Yeah, this is a guy that's always been injured. He played seventy four games in twenty fifteen. He played one hundred nineteen games in twenty sixteen. So I mean, I, I guess it's kind of like when you when you pay the run when you pay the running back for the pre for the prior season, you know. Yeah, I mean, he, he, yeah, uh, whenever he's healthy, he hits a lot of homers. He just never says he's never he he, he he's only he's he's been and he's not that old, but he's played since 2010, 2010 and he's only topped one hundred and fifty. He's only played one hundred fifty games three times in his career. Yeah, well, I'll let, I'll, even, I'll increase that. He's only played one hundred and forty games four times in his career. Yeah, that that doesn't sound great, but I mean, and that's in the, that's that's in now twelve uh, twelve seasons. Yeah, I mean he's not he's never healthy. Well, good good luck to Tommy and them. Hopefully, hopefully Tommy takes it better, and you know, hopefully he's he's happy if they do sell. But um, well, you know, that's just New York, you know, New York teams. Speaking of which, the uh, so the Knicks are out, but the Nets are. Uh, I mean, I think they're. Pretty easily handling Milwaukee. Well, I wouldn't. Re- re- I don't want to count my money yet. Yeah, 
Well, they're they're up in the is it, are they only up one one game in the series or two? They're up two zip. They're up two. And are they are they playing tonight? No. No, they're playing tomorrow. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, in next game, next two games will be in Milwaukee. Yeah. Now, wh- how, how do you feel about that? I mean, there's not really is there, is there really any kind of home court advantage? Well, then they, they, I did. Yeah, you got to be home court advantage. I mean, yeah, the Bucks couldn't play worse than they did yesterday. Yeah, I saw the. Uh, I, I mean, saw, I, I mean, the next two games in Milwaukee, if the Nets. Win one, take the three, uh, three or one, three zero lead. That series should be over, and then it's focus on the uh, Sixers and Hawks to uh, yeah. win the NBA Finals. Yeah. Now, who do we who do we think it's going to be from the West? That's wide open. Yeah. But no matter who, but no matter who it is, they're they're most likely going to lose to the East, right? No, not necessarily. No. No. Who do you th- who do you think could beat the uh, the Nets or the Sixers, or the Hawks? Well, uh, the Jazz and the Suns actually have better records. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The Suns are looking good, but I mean they were looking good during the season. Yeah, the Jazz Jazz play a lot of defense. Uh, uh, but yeah, it, 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 I don't believe in the Clippers. The Clippers always choke. But the the uh, the West is wide open. Yeah. So you're but you're not confident in your Nets. They have a good chance, but you know I'm cursed. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, do, I guess. Do you think your curse like re- impacts the team that much? I really do. <laughs> like it, it <laughs> I'm cursed. It's, it's so it's not even a matter of like, oh, then that's good enough. It's a matter of, oh, is Frank's curse that bad to where it will impact the Nets? Yes. <laughs> hey, that's hey, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, look at the Mets. Uh, they have the talent, but it, it, it always falls apart. Yeah. But, I mean, you know what? They're, they're a few games above 500 right now, aren't they? Yeah, but it's not going to last. <laughs> well, not with that attitude. I mean, what, David, what, what? David and uh, Louis Rojas says that uh, uh, David Peterson is in the rotation to stay, and if I could, I have him pitch every day. What do you what do you think is an honest, like an honest expectation for like where the mess will finish the season? They got to make the playoffs. Okay, so you're confident they're, they're going to make the playoffs at least. Well, yeah, well they better. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get on, on some 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 happy topics here. You were in Florida. You went down to Miami. I tell you what, for you you spent what forty something years never visiting Florida. And now you've been in Florida twice in like the past month or so. Yes. Are you thinking about moving down with, to Miami with Dave? <laughs> uh, maybe for the winters. Mm-hmm. Well, but, uh, well, I saw the Dolphins uh, d- d- practice facility. Yeah, yeah, we dr- we drove there. Uh, you were pretty excited, but I, t- I tell you what, I, I didn't I didn't want to throw it out there on Twitter, but it's probably the most happy I've ever seen you. Is when I said, "Oh, look, they have the Lombardi trophies." You, you were like, a, like a little kid. I mean, I didn't. I, I wanted to see the trade, the training facility. I didn't expect to see. Uh, I didn't expect to see the trophies uh, that close to the window. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess when you think about it, they are. I mean, they're Lombardi trophies. But I mean, who's just driving around Davie, Florida? You know, looking for the training facility. Well, yeah. Well, as soon as I found out that the hotel I was staying at was actually in Davie, Florida. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I could not, I couldn't being that close to the the, the the training facility. I could not not go there. Yeah. Yeah. May, may, maybe sometime during the season, if you come back down for a game, maybe we'll have to try and get in there and like take a tour or something. That would be nice. And of course, I. Uh, I uh, d- d- did a couple of raw dog episodes. Yeah, did you find a couple of good hot dog places? Yep, I found a couple of good hot dog places. Now, so you you, you did some hot dog reviews. Um, you did uh, some other content that will be released at another date. Yep, uh, d- d- uh, I did content. Uh, I pinch hit for uh, somebody mm-hmm. who is not available. 
And I, I tell you what, it, that's you keep hearing it. You know, it's the best ability is availability. You know? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I did content that's usually associated with somebody else, but you'll you'll see it. You'll see it. Uh, uh, just a little tease there. What the appetite? What the beak? If so to speak. Uh, and um, you guys will get to see that uh, content in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I, I think it went, I think it went really well. I heard I heard you had some fun. I heard you had a lot of fun, so that was pretty cool. And uh, but also you got only not not only to do some hot dog reviews, but you got another uh, uh, fruit taste test. You know, I've never seen I've never actually seen anyone eat a mango. I've yeah. never held a mango. I've uh, I've never actually like like looked at a mango. I I I, I had mango Pepsi recently. <laughs> I had mango soda. Yeah. I've just never eaten a mango. Never seen a mango eaten. Apparently, you're supposed to cut it. That that's what and I mean. And you're supposed to peel it. That the uh, the skin. Well, oh, I I bit into the skin. The skin the skin was nasty. Yeah. So but the, the uh, good. but the mango itself. The mango was was pretty good. Yeah. And then the pit was in there, and all of a sudden, I just looked down at my shirt and mango juice everywhere. There really was. I I had to do a close up. I was I was kind of far away from you filming it, but once I once I realized how much mango juice was just all over your face and down your yeah shirt, yeah. Apparently, I it's not a hand it. fruit. It's a it's a fruit that you're supposed to like uh, cut into pieces. <laughs> I had the the my buddy who I was staying with in Fort Lauderdale, uh, his his house that he has there. There's just a mango tree in the backyard, and so it's just whenever you want. Oh hey, just go pick a mango. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I brought it to you. I apologize. I didn't. I've never had a mango before. I I tried some that my friend gave me, and I didn't like it. Um, but I wasn't. I've I've never eaten one myself, so I wasn't sure how it got cut. So I do apologize for not for not informing you. But I think it'll turn into a, a good uh, a good review. Well, it's already out. Oh, did you already put it out? Yes. Nice. Yeah, that was uh, a <laughs> that was good. That was a good review. I mean, I, I literally, I never, never didn't know uh, what to, what, what to do with it. I mean, shoot. Yeah. yeah. Now, so, and you had it all over your shirt and everything. Has, has it come out okay? Well, I, I don't have a lot. I, I, I don't have a laundry uh, facility in my uh, apartment, my unit, because of course, if there's not even enough room for it. There's barely enough room for a fucking uh, refrigerator in this goddamn forsaken place. So yeah. you're paying fifteen hundred bucks a month, and you don't yeah, and it's going up next month too. And if you uh, use the laundry facilities here, the laundry facilities here are always in use. If you try to use it here and then you leave the, uh, your your uh, clothes in the dryer, you'll go, you'll be there in an hour, and you'll find your clothes on the floor, and someone have said put the uh, clothes in the dryer while you're uh, away. That's wild to me. So somebody's just like, "Oh, I need to use the dryer. Let me yeah. throw let me throw your clothes on the floor." Yeah. You know, for fifteen hundred bucks a month or sixteen hundred bucks a month, I, you know, down here you would have you would have laundry service probably. I I mean it, it's really bad. Yeah, I, I, not having yeah. a la going to the laundromat once a week really fucking sucks too. Yeah. That's yeah. Where, wherever I end up short term, until you find your house, wherever I end up short term, I, I'm I'm gonna need a laundromat. But you know, I'm I don't. Not, I, I I want I want I I want to use Purex. I like Purex. I, I I go to I go to the the uh, the laundromat. They're gonna use the, the uh, generic uh, detergent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or Tide, and Tide makes me itch. <laughs> so you just have you have to bring not only your clothes but your detergent and everything else. Whatever. I you want Purex. Now, it, now, this is not a paid sponsorship, is it? No, no. You're just a big but fan. But if your ex wants to pay me, uh, <laughs> I'm willing to. I'm yeah, willing yeah. to talk. Maybe, maybe they'll just send you some free samples. That I used enough. to like surf, but I don't think they make that anymore. Yeah, I've, I've know, a, a game guy myself. You know, surf, and I, and, and uh, it just so happens I have these still here. I brought these at a, a flea market. About uh two month about a month and a half ago, mm -hmm. in 1987, they came out with the surf books. I think they were uh, 
every stadium was had uh, a giveaway and uh sponsored by surf oh no okay gotcha and it has like year by year every team's top baseball cards that's pretty cool i've had the mets for years i have the met, the met one but yeah i uh, i went to a a, a a flea market and they had yeah. a bunch of them they had the uh the uh, the angels the brewers the reds what you what year are those from uh, 87, I believe, maybe 88. Nice. Let me see. And those are all the tops baseball cards of that team? Yes. That year or for prior no. years as well? Uh, yeah, this is uh, – maybe they came out in 86. These, uh, go, these go all the way up from uh, the early uh, – the first years of tops to uh, – the last, yeah, uh, it's a eighty to nineteen eighty six uh, tops uh, set. And so somebody just had all the teams, or a lot of teams. Well, they had a lot of teams. I, yeah, I have the Met book already. And then they had like the uh, Surf. Uh... Yeah, this came out in eighty seven, so it was uh, through the eighty six season. So, got it. You have the uh, the, the Surf coupon there, of course. Uh, Mariners, when they had that boring ass logo the twins <laughs> didn't have much of a logo on that one yeah the, the royals didn't uh tigers rangers this one even includes like their uh, years in washington the twins too when they were the, the, the original washington twins the uh oh, so not, i didn't know okay hold on so the twins were not originally in minneapolis no they were the uh, original washington senators Okay, got it. okay. So they were the senators, but then they changed. Okay, so they were the they became the twins because of Twin Cities. Yes, because they moved. Okay, yeah. The Washington okay. Senator. See, this starts like uh, from the fifty-two, the first full top set, all the way up to the eighty-six uh, set, and uh, the uh, the twins were the original Washington Senators. The Senators moved, became the Twins, and they gave Washington a new expansion team at the same time. The Twins moved. So it was a, a seamless transition. Just the uh, the new senators were an expansion team. Gotcha. And then, and they, and that and then team became the Texas Rangers. Gotcha. And then years later, Montreal would move to Washington and become the Nationals. Yep, the Padres almost moved to Washington. Now, why why did they why did they become the Nationals and not just take the Senators' name? I guess. Well, here's an interesting thing. The sen the original senators had a hazy nickname. Fans called them the senators. The official name was actually Nationals, and most of the history books record them as the senators. But their official name was actually the Nationals until like 1950, and then they finally officially said, "Okay, we're the senators." Gotcha. Hmm. Here's the Brewers. With the Brewer one, you get the uh, Seattle Pilots. Was that their minor league team, or was that the no? Or, oh, they were the Seattle, Seattle Pilots, Pilots in nineteen seven in nineteen sixty nine, and then after one season, they moved to Milwaukee. Oh, gotcha. So they so they were a Seattle major league team before the Mariners were. Yep. Hmm. Always interesting to see the uh, the Hank Aaron card as a Brewer. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know that was one. Yeah, no, that that's always cool. I mean, little things you can find like that. I'm I'm a big estate sale guy. I love I love going to Goodwill and estate sales looking for, I mean, shoot, most most of my, you know, man cave, Doug's den stuff, <clears throat> most of it was from <clears throat> estate sales and goodwills. But yeah, uh, yeah, these are these, this is a, a neat little collection. I I was able to buy it. Uh, and uh I got uh, let me see how many books are here. One, two, three. I got these all for like ten dollars. Nice. nice. And the Met one, the Met one, I've had for years. Yeah, yeah. Just an, an, another little collection. And that's why I need to move. My collection <laughs> starting to smother me. Yeah. Well, I, <clears throat> I tell you what, it's something I've noticed even up in Jersey. I literally, I literally got bob bobbleheads everywhere I turn. Yeah. I just, I just got this one. See that? It's Chachki stuff and everything. Who's that? Mookie. Is that Mookie? Yeah, Mookie. The uh, 
I uh, like at least. I mean, that's like little chachi stuff you get and everything, and it's like a nice, cool little collection. I've noticed there's there are storage units everywhere. I don't know. I don't know how many people have storage units, but storage units, are, especially down here in Jacksonville. I mean, there's one every other corner. There's some I, yeah, storage yeah. Storage there's storage units everywhere. You ever watch Storage Wars? Yeah, but I'm saying, but who's? I mean, who's got? I mean, not not every. I mean, does everyone just have a storage unit to hold stuff? Yeah, I put stuff in storage units. You have a storage unit. Yes. I guess. Well, I mean, you have a small. I guess. I guess. Okay. Yeah. So you have an apartment, a small apartment. So it makes sense if you have one. Remember, I, I got all those like those like the, the that. That, that 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 industrial strength cleaner after I got out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they sent me like gallons of that. Yeah, I can't I can't have that sitting around here. Is it is it a a biohazard? No, it's just out in the fucking way. <laughs> I get, I mean they did send you like gallons of it. Well, that's well. Hey, listen, you know, as soon as you get a house, yeah, I use it. I I use it. Uh, I use what I have, and if I need it, I the storage units. Uh, on the Nutley Clifton border, which is actually two two counties, it's amazing that they built this over two counties, let alone two towns. Yeah, and you actually walk around there, and they actually have the uh, the borderline. Oh, really? Delineated on the floor. So your storage unit might actually be in a a different a different county. No, it's actually in my storage unit's in Nutley. Gotcha. But if I walk to a storage unit about uh, on the other side of it, uh, the, the building. It's yeah. in Clifton. Of course it is. Well, as soon as you get a house, you won't have to worry about that. You'll have plenty more space. Um, the, if it's, it's you know, I think if anybody's been watching, they know that uh, your parents are moving no. back in. Your parents are moving, so you're going to be looking for yeah, a house. Yeah, they want me to move. They want me to, they, they said no ha no apartment, go for a house. So yeah. that's just like, and uh, the uh, the inventory for houses is just as good as the inventory for fucking apartments. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Yeah. Well, at least if you're looking for a house, I'm sure uh, there there's it's it's not um it's not as difficult. Well, I mean, how should I say this? Once you have your once you have your lender, you know, your lender letter and everything, your proof of funds and all that, it's. It shouldn't be that difficult once you have everything together. But again, it is finding the right place. But yeah. Well, looking for a lender, I'm going to try to. Uh, one way or another, I'm going to start that process this week. Yeah. Well, and that's like I said. I mean, it, you know that that process. Once you find the house, it still takes about you know maybe 45, 60 days to go through the entire process of buying a house. So it, while you're doing that, I am going to uh, for June and possibly some of July. I'm going to just be traveling around myself, you know, going to uh, some minor league baseball teams, I'll, you know, check out the towns and everything and maybe throw out some first pitches. So I'll be doing that June. <clears throat> and then, you know, um, if well, I need to yep, call, yep, like, yep. uh, well, you got to record it and do blogs about it. Of course. Of course. Now, yeah, I, I have access to the blogs and everything now. So I'm writing blogs. And uh, so I'll be I'll be doing that for June and possibly some of July. And then I'll be looking for like a short term rental in uh in jersey in new york in manhattan if i if i have to but you know if, if it's short term just a couple of months you know maybe manhattan wouldn't be wouldn't be too bad although i have heard manhattan in the summer like really nobody's there you know everybody leaves friday and they come back monday it's really just work week and then they go to the beach or whatnot on the weekends uh, yeah they, 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 they like going to the hamptons yeah well, so I'll be I'll be looking for a short a short term rental um, until you can until you can find a house and then and then we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. So uh, what else? What's what's new going on with you this week? Got anything planned on? Uh, well, I'm going to uh, watch the Mets probably lose on Saturday. This everything is going to hell because it's in June. Yeah, it's June. Everything everything in June sucks. All right. Well, we're we're I'll be I'll be traveling up there. I'll be I'll be up there soon enough. Do you have anything uh do you have anything planned for traveling in the next month or so? Um not at the moment, but you know, that could change at a moment's notice. Uh yeah. uh I didn't know I was going to Miami until uh uh Friday uh, Thursday last week. Oh really? Yeah. Hey, like I said, you know, just being in the office, it'll happen. All right, good I, deal. I, I mean, yeah, so yeah. 
I yeah. went to Miami, uh, uh, a quick a quick trip, and uh, a quick trip like that could happen again. Uh, hopefully next time they book me through Newark Airport. Uh, I mean, yeah, those Queens airports suck. Yeah. Oh, especially especially if you're living in New Jersey, Newark's much a much better. Much uh, I, I I I uh, the, the, the first off, LaGuardia Airport fucking sucks. The airport's a mess. Yeah. They're fixing it up. They're renovating it. But that's basically just shining shit. <laughs> I mean, every everyone knows how bad LaGuardia Airport is. Yeah. Well, JFK, it takes you like 30 minutes just to walk to a gate. You know, that was a good walk. No, I, no it's if I, if, I'm, if I just got off like a two and a half hour flight and I have my luggage... I do not want to walk half an hour through an airport to get to the Uber. Oh well, I was uh, I was lucky. At least uh, I just had to walk with my computer back to the gate because I was taking off. But what made it worse is uh, uh, the uh, it was a two hour draw, uh, two hour Uber ride from where I live in Belleville to uh, JFK. You know, it's true what they say: nobody beats the Van Wick. I, I've never even heard that before. What is that saying? The Van Wick. Yeah, is is that is that like a is that a a terminal or is that is that a, is that a road? Is that it's a highway? A, it's it's a road that leads uh, that goes through uh, uh, Queens, mm -hmm. and it goes into JFK. Gotcha. It's a Seinfeld reference. Okay, got okay. Oh, is that when they were headed to the airport? When uh, Elaine tried to get her uh, her, uh, her boyfriend uh, that she did, that she couldn't stand anymore. Yeah. Couldn't stand him anymore, and uh, try to get him to the uh, airport. And uh, he, he, he just he came in, he came in there. Nobody beats the Van Wick. Nobody oh, beats the Van Wick. And then yeah. she was like, like uh, pa almost passing out. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, I remember that. Well, that's. I think I think I mentioned this to you. If I'm going to be living in Jersey, I feel like I need to watch The Sopranos. I haven't. I've never actually sat down and watched The Sopranos. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, you're gonna have to do that. Well, I have the, all the DVDs, so yeah. Oh, that and that would be something cool. Uh, you know, maybe like milestones or when there's something <clears throat> in Jersey where it's like a, a building or a set or something like that was used. Maybe we can tour that and actually like like what the final scene is at a restaurant near your house, right? Yeah, it's very nearby. Yeah, so maybe maybe when the seasons are or the finale and everything, and it's a series finale, uh, maybe we'll have to go there for dinner or something and just you know final off. Well, yeah, yeah, and that place has good ice cream if you like that too. I, I do like ice cream. <laughs> I'm trying. And to... they also have homemade chocolates. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I am trying to watch. I'm trying to watch my weight and everything. I, 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 I started out uh, four sixty nine uh, June first. I'm, I'm not weighing myself. I'm weighing myself every month so I don't get you know defeated or anything one week or the next. But uh, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, I'll be on the road mainly, you know, the next month and a half or so. Uh, but yeah, got a lot of stuff planned. That's Barstool Units. As always, I'm Coach Duggs. Frank the Tank, please take us out. I hate June. I mean, why can't the Mets win in June? Why does June always kill this team? Huh. <sighs>